Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have an amazing book for you guys today. So, let's get on with the video. Reviewing for you guys today is The Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. And I'm telling you guys, this book is funny, it's sad, it makes you angry sometimes. The main character of the book is Hauling Hoodhead. He just has a lot going on in his life right now. Um, his sister is super rebellious and all that stuff. His father owns a, a company who is trying to like get this deal with this really big company, but they're competing with like a bunch of other small companies like them. And then his mom is very just like, yeah, she's just very quiet. Holling goes to school and he has this one teacher, English teacher, and her name is Mrs. Baker. And for some reason, she just doesn't seem to like him like at all. And he doesn't really know what to do, but his father tells him just to be nice to her because she's the daughter of Holling Hood Hood and Associates biggest like adversary he tries to be nice to her and all of a sudden ends up having to spend hours after school on Wednesday to read Shakespeare with her and he doesn't understand why she wants him to read Shakespeare but the, the fun thing and sort of the weird thing about this book is that him reading Shakespeare just opens a bunch of I don't know it just clears a lot of fog in his life and he ends up you know learning some of things that he never knew before and it helps him especially since the book is sent in set in 1963 so it's during the Vietnam War and so it's a really hard time for a lot of people it's just weird how whatever he does Shakespeare just comes in and intervenes and it's a really beautiful story I think the end of like reading the book, Holling Hood Hood is a boy who like reaches his destiny in spite of himself. And so it's a really great book. I don't really like books that are set in older time periods, but if you really like look for really good authors, they write really good books in older times that are very interesting and are really fun to read. I would recommend this book for ages 10 and up. And again, like I said in the last video, parents, if you're watching, if you have an advanced reader, like an 80 year old who reads like middle grade novels or stuff like that, this is also a really good book. It's a very real book. And like, it doesn't feel like all fantasy and stuff like The False Prince does. This one feels like this story actually happened. Very funny and very weird and I really enjoy the storytelling and I really enjoy the writing. It's an amazing book. Gary D. Smith is a great author and I love his books. I do not know there's an audiobook for this so if there is leave a comment down below and let me know if there is an audiobook because I would love one. I really hope that you guys end up reading this book because it's amazing. Z. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!